What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Fishing classes in session. So I did a whole use video outside where I used this Ozark Trail fixed blade to do some hurricane prep and chop down a bunch of vegetables in the summer garden to make way for the fall garden. And it did not record, none of it. And this is gonna be a little bit different. There's some things that I wanna talk about that have been on my mind and some of it's gonna get pretty heavy and heated. It's directed to everyone and no one in particular. So if you don't wanna hear it, just go away right now because I really don't give a shit, okay? Today I guess I'm kind of addressing the trolls but I'm kind of addressing everyone. And people say, Oh, just ignore the trolls. Don't give them a platform. When you react to them, it just encourages them. Bullshit. I think just the opposite. The reason this world is in the mess that it's in, and if you don't think we're in a mess, you're the problem, so you can go away right now. The reason we're in this mess is because people have remained quiet and let the idiots blather and bleed on and say all their bullshit and continue to say it while everybody else kept quiet. You know what? Nobody likes you damn trolls. None of you. And I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm going to respond to you assholes and I'm going to put you in your place because you're not very smart. You're not intelligent. Your shit is weak You've got nothing, and I'm not going to remain silent because this is my channel. It's not your channel. You don't pay me to entertain you, so I'm going to respond, and I'm going to tell you to kick freaking rocks, and I'm going to put you in your place and let the whole world know exactly the kind of idiot that you are. And you know what? No other content creator should just ignore them. You shouldn't ignore them. You should respond and put those idiots in their place. So here's what I want to talk about today. Why is my channel the way it is? Why do I act goofy and silly and all this? You don't know shit about me. It's all an act. All of it. So why? Why do I do it the way I do it? Everybody's going through some shit. Everyone everyone and you have no idea what they're going through or what they've been through. I have struggled with depression and negative self-talk my entire life. And I don't tell you that because I want sympathy. I don't want your fucking sympathy. I don't want it. I'm telling you this to make a greater point, so try to follow along, but I know that you can't because you can't consume information that's more than eight seconds long because TikTok and the internet has ruined your brain. What is negative self-talk? It's this voice in your head that plays over and over and over again on a constant loop like a tape on repeat. It says... It's your own voice and it says shit like you're a fraud. Nobody likes you. Nobody loves you. The reason they don't like you or love you is because you're not worthy. You're not smart enough. You're not athletic enough. You're not good looking enough. You'll never achieve anything. You're weird. You're fat. You're a shitty dad. You're a shitty husband. It's debilitating. It's paralyzing. And don't tell me, just think happy thoughts and it'll go away man. You don't know shit about me. If any of you have ever dealt with negative self-talk, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So where did it come from? Where did this depression and negative self-talk come from? I don't know. I've tried to pinpoint it, but I can't. I have some ideas. It was probably my childhood. It all goes back to your childhood, doesn't it? My dad was a high-ranking military officer. He was some big shit. My parents got divorced when I was six. I saw that man one time between the time I was six and the time he died of brain cancer six or seven years ago. He didn't want shit to do with me. My first stepdad was a raging alcoholic. He was abusive to my mom, verbally and physically. One night, he comes home, he passes out on the living room floor, 
pisses all over himself. I held a 20 gauge shotgun to his face. When he woke up, he walked to the end of the road with his duffel bag. We never saw him again. I was 11. My second stepdad was a cocaine addict and he was also abusive. He went on a freaking three day bender one time. My brother and I, we smashed his car with baseball bats, threatened him, put him in the car. He drove off never to be seen again. I was 14. My third stepdad was the only good man that's ever been in my, my life. Good old country boy, cotton farmer, peanut farmer. He died of cancer a few years ago. So it probably came from that, I guess. Probably somewhere along in there. So I have three children, two biological, one stepson. Two of my children have special needs. My youngest daughter has what's called Wolf-Hirschhorn syndrome. The day that she was born, the doctors told us, put her on the floor with some blankets, make her comfortable until she dies. She'll never have a personality. She'll never be able to do anything. She's 21 years old now. She can't talk. She's vocal, but she's not verbal. We have to bathe her, get her dressed, wipe her butt, brush her teeth. She's not a vegetable. She can walk around. She has tons of personality. She plays baseball, t-ball at Miracle League, but it's challenging. It's very challenging. And my stepson also has special needs. He's autistic. He's 19 years old. He's just like a child too. We have to take care of him. He's vocal, but he's not verbal. We face more challenges every day than most people will face in their entire life. And that's not to diminish what anybody's going through. And I would not trade my kids for anything in the world. Don't get me wrong. They have taught me more about being a man than any man ever taught me. But I tell you this to say that everything on the surface is not as it appears. Hopelessness, despair, anger. I go through that shit every day, but there's enough of that in the world. There is enough of that in the world out there. You f trolls are adding to it constantly. And I don't want to put that shit out there in the world because I live it every f day and people live it every single day. So I get on here and I do my little sing song shit and I act like an idiot and I do it on purpose for a reason. It is an act. The reason that I do it is because about once every two weeks, once every two weeks or so, I get a comment that says, every time I see one of your videos, it makes me smile. Or I get a comment that says, Every time I watch one of your videos, I laugh out loud. And that makes all of it worth it for me. But you know what? My style is not for everyone. You know, go and watch these huge channels. Watch the one that rhymes with Nettle Momplex, right? Same old shit again and again, this dude is bought and paid for by the knife industry. And he is just showing you the same shit again and again and again, and trying to sell you shit. The opening of his freaking videos are, if you're buying some shit, buy it from me. Come the f on, man. That shit is so boring. And it's just the same crap again and again and again. And you people eat it up. You eat it up. Well, oh, I don't watch it. Okay. Okay. You're not one of the 700,000 people that eats that shit up. How about Griselda Asswoods, right? You guys simping over a pair of freaking titties that has nothing of value to say. A chick got famous for being naked on TV. She's bought and paid for by the knife industry. And you guys just thirsty mother lap it up like you've never seen a pair of tits in your freaking life my channel's not for everybody all right go and watch those freaking homogenized coffee can bullshit channels that are just showing you another titanium drop point the newest shit on the market trying to sell you some shit they're nothing but a commercial they have nothing of value to say and you people eat it up and meanwhile there's countless channels out there like mine and others where those people have something of value to say they're 
entertaining. It's not the same old shit again and again and again. And YouTube just keeps them down and you just won't even support them. I make videos because I like to make videos. It is a release for me. It is a creative outlet for me. So I do it for me. And more importantly, I do it to make one person smile every two weeks. So before you come on my channel and you say, oh, I wouldn't do it that way. And that's your one freaking poignant, profound comment or I wouldn't buy that knife. Run off to metal plex and go continue being a simple sheep. I want to put something good in the world and make someone smile. And I don't give a f what you would buy or how you would do it. Okay? You're not my audience. You're not the person I'm trying to reach. You run off and keep being one of the little puppets. Half of that shit that you people say, you wouldn't say it to my face. First of all, because most people know how to behave in public to another person. And the other reason you wouldn't say it to my face is because I'd knock your teeth down your throat. No, you wouldn't, bro. I see red. I see red. Okay, man. You don't know where I've come from. You don't know where I've been. I've given out plenty of ass whoopings and I've took them too. And I promise your ass you wouldn't say it to my face. Okay, I've heard every beard joke. My beard is glorious. That shit is weak. I've heard every fat joke. That shit is also weak. You know what else? Force equals mass times acceleration. I got a lot of mass and I can accelerate you fake ass little man. So anyway, yeah, I don't know if I'll post this either. I'm like on my third video today. Um, my point is everybody's going through some shit. You don't know anything about anybody out there. Quit making assumptions about people. If you don't have anything nice to say, or you can't be courteous or polite the same way that you would be to a stray dog, then go away. All right. I have something to say. I think my content is good. I'm going to keep grinding and doing it for me and doing it to make that one person every two weeks smile. That's what I'm going to do it. My channel's either going to grow or it's not. All right. But I think you should support the people that have something intelligent to say. And I've said a lot of intelligent things. Most of you guys have missed it because you can't watch a seven minute video. You can only watch an eight second short. But, you know, su support the channels that have something to say. And understand that everybody's doing shit the way they do it for a reason. Because I do silly tabletop reviews doesn't mean I don't work my ass off. Doesn't mean that I don't know how to use my knife. You don't know shit about shit. This is the one and only and last video like this that I'll put out there. But yeah, go, go support your bullshit channels. Most of them are boring as fuck. I don't know how you can watch that same shit again and again. Well, I do because you're brain dead. Anyway, that's all I got, man. The live stream is canceled tonight. I apologize for all of this rant, but quit making assumptions about people and support the people that are real.